Good day to Dr. Hamidou. My name is Chloe Kachi. My metric number is AP190230. Today, I'll give a short presentation on the Highland Tower tragedy. What is the Highland Tower tragedy? On 11 December 1993, at a time around 1.30pm at Highland Towers, Taman Hill View, Ulu Clan, Selangor, Malaysia, there was an apartment building collapse that involved Block 1 of the Highland Towers. What is the effect of this tragedy? It was one of the worst disasters involving high-rise buildings in Malaysian history. The collapse resulting in the death of 48 lives. An extensive search and rescue mission involving experts from Singapore, France, Japan, United Kingdom and United States was carried out after the condominium block slid and toppled forward. What is the factor that causes this incident can happen? Let's take a look on how this tragedy caused in the next video. Behind the Highland Towers was a small stream of water known as East Creek. East Creek pipe system was built to divert the stream to bypass the Highland Towers. In 1991, a new housing development project known as the Bukit Antarabangsa Development Project commenced construction on the hilltop behind the Highland Towers. The hill was cleared of trees and other land covering plants, exposing the soil to land erosion that is the leading factor of causing landslides. The water from the new construction site was diverted into the existing pipe system used to divert the flow of East Creek causes overloaded pipe system and water from both sides which infiltrated the pipes. The pipes burst at several locations on the hill and the surrounding soil behind Block 1 had to absorb the excess of water after 10 continuous days of rainfall led to a worsened situation. By the end of November 1993, the hill slope had saturated with water that flowing down the hill slopes and the constructed retaining walls. Shortly thereafter, the soil ramped onto the foundation of Block 1, incrementally pushing it forward which then causes the tragedy of Highland Tower. How to determine the soil condition and the properties? This situation indicates that the stability of a slope depends on many factors other than its tilt angle. The soil characteristic topography, amount and intensity of rainfall, vegetation cover and soil water content during rainfall are some of the factors to determine soil condition. Surface gradients will affect the rate of water infiltration. The slower the slope, the higher the rate of infiltration. The infiltration rate decreases if the gradient is greater than 2% as surface runoff occurs. Next, how to improve the soil condition? Method 1. Through geometric methods in which geometry of the hillside is changed in general of the slope. Method 2. True chemical and mechanical methods which attempts are made to increase the shear strength of the unstable mass or to introduce active external forces, such as rock or ground milling or passive forces such as structural wells, piles, and reinforced ground to counteract the destabilization force. And that's all from me. Thanks for watching.